Hi guys, it's Vixen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, I am Vixen. Um, I'm a college student. I love to read and I own a small business. I went home for the weekend because someone missed me and I missed him. And someone's been having bad allergies, I know. He's like, they're not even taking care of you here. I know. But I figured we could do, um, thank you. We could do my September wrap up while I'm home since I'll have all the books. Books, books, you know mama loves books. And you like treats. Mm. I love you. I know, you just won't leave mama's side. But yeah, I guess we can just get into that. Fine. You have itchy skin. Why are you so itchy? Do you dry? Do they put leaving conditioner on you or something? No. Go, go, don't jump on me, please. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. I know, you want to play. You like playing. And you haven't seen me. Oh my god, you are so itchy for no reason. Baby! You're being evil girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this a lot. So, we have Dog On It by Spencer Quinn. And I would rate this book a three point five out of five stars. It's a really good book. I liked it. It kind of dragged on in certain spots. It kind of was a little tedious, but it was really cool. This book is about a dog named Shet who flunked out of police school. And his owner is a private detective that specializes in cheating cases and sometimes worse in person cases. He doesn't typically go out after those because it's kind of iffy, but yeah. Next book is Tell Her No Lies by Kelly Irvin. Uh, this book is about a girl named Nina who is um kind of famous so it's just her family is very famous and they're all known for wanting attention when um someone in her family dies and basically what happened is that everyone blames nina because she was in the house during the time but she is not the murderer. Um, but going, she, since she is considered the main suspect, the police are trying to figure out everything about her when she's trying to figure out who the actual suspect is. And um, also it kind of goes about how her romance life is. And basically, yeah, it's like a ticking time bomb for her. And I would rate this book a I would say a four out of five stars. It was actually very interesting. It had a good pace. I was at, the beginning was like kind of threw you right in and it was a little surprising. But I did like it. So next book we have is My Dark Romeo by Parker S. Huntington and L.J. Shin. Um, I would rate this book a four out of five stars. Um, because... It's very interesting how um, it's like current times, but it's rich society in like the rich societies in old times, but it's modern times. So everyone has phones, but they're still like, you can't, the girls have to be pure. 
they have to be get married like there's um arranged marriages but it's basically about this girl if yeah. it's about this girl named dallas that um is arranged and step on my books she's arranged to marry a person that is has a startup and is pretty known in society but she's at this ball and there's this um there's two guys there that happen to be highly highly famous within the society and known to not really take on women um other than like fun to have fun with them but one of romeo does something that kind of ruins dallas's life in her eyes but over time um things happen and we learn more about romeo and more about dallas i know I see you. I do. You don't, your face doesn't have to be right in my face for me to see you. Yes. Yes. But yeah. This is a good book. Um, the next book is Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score, which is the last book in the Knock'em Out series. Um, it is about Lucian Rollins and, about, and also about Sloan, the librarian. Now, the thing with between Lucian and Sloan is they have a past with each other. They hold a dark secret from their friends between each other. And this book basically doesn't only just get into their dark past. It also shows how um, Sloan is grieving because she had just lost her father before this. And then how um, Lucian supports her family and then things become scandalous between them. But yeah. I would rate this one a five out of five stars because I love things we left behind. Uh, the next book is Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score. I would rate this one about a 3.5 out of five stars. And that's, it's a good book. It's very, it's, set in a small town and it's very humble it's about a girl named marley that uh lost her job has loans and uh got broken up with and basically has to go back home to her parents house and live surrounded by her um old high school friend friends she has a past in her school and um she has to kind of dig through what happened with a guy named jake weston and yeah um and then the next book is this blood that binds us by sl coakley sorry if i mispronounced that um i would rate this book a Four point five out of five stars. Um, this is the first book in a series. The second book is going to come, is supposed to be coming out next in October, and um, it is about a girl named Kimberly Burns who is a college student that goes on camping trips by herself, and a boy named Aaron Callum who is a newly turned vampire and is also going to college with his three brothers who are all on the run from a cultish type thing uh, called The Family. But they're, bo they're both like avoidant of each other. But then Kimberly um, kinda gets herself in trouble and now they're both working with each other to figure out what has happened and keeping it from Aaron's brother while Aaron is also going through his own things and pushing everyone away so okay and then I started a series 
not only that series, I started another series that I've had for a while. It's The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. Um, obviously, this is about a girl named Ruby, and this is set in a fantasy world. This is the first book, this is the second book. I have the third book uh, and the fourth book at my dorm at college. But Ruby, in this world, they all have a sort of power, and if they don't have a power, they typically die, uh, the children, because there was like a plague that came on to just America. That says something right there. But basically, she uh, escapes her assigned camp that she is in for her powers, and she had her level of power she lied about, and so no one knows exactly what she is, and she ends up with a group of other kids, one of which is named Zoo and is a young girl who um, has a past and is kind of scared of it, a boy named Chubbs who also has somewhat of a past. He's very standoffish, kind of doesn't like Ruby at first, and then another boy named Liam who is the leader of Zoo, Chubbs, Zoo and Chubbs and may or may not start liking someone but basically they're all kind of working together to get away from the government which is who are trying to take the children back and put them back in their camps and the issue is if ruby were to go back to her camp she would die because of her powers and in the second book um she has to ruby has to join a the opposite side of the government, the people that are like a, the people that are against the government, and she joined only to save some her friends. Uh, I'm not gonna say from what because that's kind of spoilers, but she basically has to go find her friends because, um, one of her the other agents she works with lost something. I read eight books in September before I moved and um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to read that many books while I'm actually going through college but that was that's pretty fun and yeah hi guys it's me Fixin and um, this is the second part to the video of what I'm reading. This is my October TBR. Um, I'm now back in my dorm, so I'm currently reading In the Afterlight uh, by Alexandra Bracken, which is the third book uh, in the A Darkest Mind series, and then I also have the fourth book in this series. And um, so yeah. I'm not really gonna give a overview since we already kind of know it. I already gave like a review of the other ones. And then um, we have The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This is my roommate's book, but she's letting me use her books. Uh, it is basically about two people that hate each other and um, they both kind of like, or they have to be around each other a lot. So it's, they're always like, are he always mad at each other and not afraid to show it so yeah we have a cry in the dark by jessica r patch this book is about a um this book is about a woman named violet rainwater uh who is a fbi special agent and she is um trying to catch a serial killer uh in Kentucky which is yeah so this book is a murder mystery from the detectives view but the next book is under the whispering board by TJ Clune <laughs> this book is, I'm sorry <laughs> I feel so bad for this book but It is about a character who is dead and is doesn't know he's dead 
and um, well, yeah, about after death. Well, that's kind of what I got from that. I, think I want to like fix the cover so badly. Okay, let me stay there. And then the last book, I don't think I'm actually going to finish all these books. Because uh, I'm in college as well. She also has... <laughs> she has random things in her books. Uh, next book is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. I've never read any of Allie Hazelwood, so I'm def definitely interested in reading some. Um, it is about a girl named Olive who is okay then she's in her third year get to get her PhD and she doesn't really care for romantic relationships but her friend is trying to convince her that it does they, these things do matter and obviously she being a biologist doesn't really care about that and takes things a scientific way so yeah that is my TBR for October. To be honest, I might not even read, I might read one book and, that, and then I'll feel really bad. But I will try to at least get through two books this year, this month. But anyways, um, yeah. Uh, I kinda wanna do a QA video soon. So if anyone has any questions, um, you can leave them in the comments or I will leave my Instagram in the description and I will be posting a Q&A thing on there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye!